and expectations are high for both of these squads. We all know what type of Counter-Strike these two teams can deliver. Let's hope today is no different. Lots of options available here for Carrigan and Cope. Moto smoke, long smoke, molly towards the pit, looking likely. Hunter's first test. He spots them out. Rotates Nexa. through. Nex has got a lot of pressure coming his way, and he does stand in the flames. Delivers triple headshot on the P2K. The rest is Hunter's. He'll finish it with style. And Nexa, that molly meant nothing to him. That is huge right there from Nexa. He gets a second chance in G2. The first round in the quarterfinal up against FaZe, and he flatlines three. This is a confidence booster, and with the P2K, none of that USB business. That is beautiful. What a start. And again, I have to reiterate, the confidence for Nexa to get that early as a pit anchor, which is somebody, if I'm Carrigan, I'm looking to exploit on this CT side. That is one way to kick things off. Nades flying through. Hooksy, reaction. Smoke of his own. Do they respect this? Good counter utility. Look at the nade. Does significant damage. Faces is are ringing. And Hooksy, he activates with the MP9. He will go down, but at the back of the site stands Nico, and he delivers. Only Robs remains. A double kill so far in the round. It's not going to be easy to plot, because Hunter's there. A missed shot from Robs just clips the ears of Hunter. And FaZe, they falter. 45 seconds. Crowd's starting to make some noise. First fight. monocy has got it covered. Pulls the trigger. Reveals the orb. Takes down Rain. It's flat now. Five. Very uncomfortable for FaZe. Not able to get into these biffs and brawls and just denied by U2 again. This is fantastic from G2. You have to give credit where it's due and the way that they're holding on on the CT side is fantastic. Yeah, very composed. However, it's Carrigan that's trying to forge a path into B. Nico catches him. What are you supposed to do with 15 seconds, a two-man discrepancy? They're heading into this B site. They know Nico resides. Hooksy in support, smoked off coffin. Eight seconds, you have to say it. Oh. No way in. They had no space, no kills, blanked again. Still only three frags to the name of FaZe, and we're four rounds deep. This is the kind of thing that can spiral. Did start to take some early control. Hooksy on that reload. It was a window of opportunity. Here comes Frozen. Looking for Hooksy. Already dispatches Nico. Ouch! That will leave a mark. Hooksy deleted as well. He wants it. He wants the sight. Not ready, though. Not ready for this one. Hunter holds on to B. Uh, look where the bomb is as well. There's no phase finish. There's just a lot of pressure. And at the moment, Monacy's still over towards A. Not an easy defense, but one I'm sure Monacy could pull off. The hyper aware youngster. Oh, but it's Rob's prepared for the duel. Punish for his peak. A side open for phase, and they will find their first. We're going to keep three alive back of the pit. Bomb's going to go off. And an AWP for Brokey picked up off the corpse of Monacy. That one kill catching off guard, Rops, laser sharp, and it was from Monacy's POV. We saw him go down. And that's exactly what that highlight reel the desk had for us, right? You just blink and you miss it. This is the Frozen double. First two kills of the game for Frozen and impactful ones. Those are your favorite, as here it is from Rops' Ooh. POV. So we you're dead. Just the tip of the barrel for his awareness. Monacy goes down. Kagan's got slipped up short. This is a hard one to break. Walking in to the stack side. Nico gets punched. It's Carrigan with an opening kill. Hooksy, though, holding on to long. This crossfire established. It's going to be uncomfortable for FaZe. Brokey, a quick adjustment. Removes Hooksy from the pack. This next a Hunter crossfire, though, with 18 seconds left. FaZe need a hero. The smoke isolating the duel. That's not a good clear from Frozen. It's Nexa that will piece it together, and only one stands. G2, hold on to A. Nexa has done fantastic in this pit position. The pistol around the test, the P2K with three, and now just being stoic, letting that clock sink through. Silent dismount. Element of surprise is theirs. But Karagadana wears. Caught by Nico. An equalizing frag. 
at that minute mark and Nade as well chipping away heavy damage onto Frozen. Nico, he weathers the flame to reposition. But again, G2's defense is impressing. Keeping them moving, however. Monacy this time to be tested. Oh, Monacy caught a whiff of rain. And it's the AWP again. Removes rain. Uh, oh, miss. Frozen alive. He shouldn't be. 30 seconds. They have to commit up. Trying to smoke off this AWP. He's missed shot from Monacy. Counting on Hunter. Going forward into the duel. Monacy can't hit anything. The sight not lost yet. As the bomb goes down, Monacy trying to find a perch over the smoke. A three versus two retake. And Hooksy not ready for graveyard. Six Only bullets. six bullets, but one on Monacy's orb. It could be good. He misses it again. Run on down, and Faze will take the round. Oh, back and forth. That one went and between the sights. Monacy with a couple of uncharacteristic misses there. Does that shake his confidence, Chad? That's not like him. Frozen finding that one onto Hooksy as well did make the job a whole lot more manageable and towards the end. Very important because the side player was mollied out of position. There was the bloodlusters. Yeah, the couple of misses from Monacy. Oh, the jump. He was trying to assist because you can see he was getting smoked off. This was very important from Frozen. So again, impactful kills from the young vet. We just find ourselves into a little bit of a technical timeout. His teammates are going to try and assist in Halls and Boiler. And he's going to catch him off guard. You can see Rain jumping, shocked. And now they're trying to aggress. He needed the transfer. Carrigan could not finish onto Hunter. And now a rifle. Bombs in second mid. being recovered. Yeah, Brokey's trying to contain. There's so many questions. Doesn't want to lose this AW. Doesn't want to lose the round. I mean, this has gone a little awkwardly for the FaZe Clan project. Yeah, they partner up. And they have to take some risk in pursuit of the reward. Timing on this is everything. Hunter's just transitioning back over as they peek out. <gasps> Worried about Pit. Spots one, spots two. Info, and he's alive and kicking. Needs a headshot. Frozen flustered. Running out of bullets. It's Hunter onto Brokey. All onto Frozen. This would be some clutch. This would be a necessary clutch from Frozen. An impossible task, surely, with Nico and Nexa breathing down your neck. Now, getting the bomb in is one thing. It's up to Nico and Nexa to convert this. Or will Frozen aggress into Nexa? He's bringing it together piece by piece! Frozen! The new addition starts up in the Spodek! That's what Carrigan was banking on right there. The first time in the Spodek, and he's delivering those type of clutches. Big impact yet again from Frozen. And this is how the round started. It looked like it was crumbling apart. Just an aggressive push down mid. Monacy with the safe rifle finds the first. The pistol's pesky as you like, but Frozen, a one on three. Beautiful work. He's been doing this for some time as Frozen. Sure, baby face, but big time. Smoke about to land at his doorstep. So the three quarter. What a fight ahead of it. Was rain before the smoke had plumed, but more damage done to the defense as now they're scrambling, trying to block, coming through. Whoa! Carrigan pulls it off, pushing the smoke, and down goes Nexa. A big headshot, sight lost. Round surely to follow. 11 frags and counting for Frozen. He has not let off the, the gas as a sixth round imminent for FaZe Clan. I remember how this game started, right? We were in a massive hole as far as FaZe is concerned. Trying to retain this one rifle. It was a 4-0 start and kills. They couldn't be counted. That's right. But this is the thing, Alex. Disposition matters more than position, and they were behind, but the rest of them just under that 3K mark. But this is phase. They hit the go. Right? They were forcing pressure towards long. They were blocked towards short, but on that timing, were able to push themselves through. Monacy couldn't get the job done. Carrigan playing the fade just as Nico looks away. The nade, though, could do significant damage. Carrigan finds the head of Nico. They've opened up, and they're continuing. Without the bomb, but pushing the site, Hooksy gone. Slight concern about the bomb, but Rob's holding for the potential aggress mid. And they have so many re-smokes available for spawn here. So no real issues at the moment for FaZe. Range joined the party, this info play, it's gonna be met by Rob's. Oh, he's hearing all of that. Readies himself. No, he's pressed to the monitor. As he confirms the round and the lead for FaZe at the half. Carrigan with a beautiful double into the B site. 
I think he started zero and seven. Yeah, he's found his foot, his foot footing, excuse me, five frags in, in this first half. And there we have it, Face Clan 7 working their magic to recover the half and leave with the lead. Might just be taking advantage of uh, the recharge feature. Yeah. Well, he might get a chance, Alex. This is interesting. Next is just around the corner. My God. Come on now. There is no way. Robs has been theory crafting already. <laughs> Boy. Frozen though, he's getting run out, he's getting run out. Wow, composed is frozen. And blocked. RG2. They're coming through. Giving it a go. Smoke of their own. Frozen, what? Full flash. Now Kerrigan gets another. The back is turned. And it's all five alive for FaZe. Oh, oh, an electric start to the second half. Oh, I can't believe Robs has already been cooking. That is so cheeky. And we were just talking about Nexus confidence from his impact with that first half of play. Well, that's like getting knifed. Oh, my goodness. Pants here. That's got to be one of the first Zeus kills on a quarterfinal stage in the Spodek. Oh, my that is God. Uh, something special. But this B defense as well. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, all you can do is smile as Carrigan the showman. Happy with that. Thank you, Mr. MC. Now, it's Carrigan. Wow, you saw that. Just, just deleted. A momentary burst from the MP9, and an opening kill has been found. Rops has a timing. Exa has a headshot. This bonus you discussed seems like G2 are weathering the storm. The nade. Ah, uh, that was the team nade. Yeah. Maybe telling, and actually forces a reposition. Ah, the rain. Awkward. Very uncomfortable now for FaZe. Broke, he needs at least two. He's provided and Frozen unable to start that clutch machine whirring into action. Instead, it will be G2 on the board for the T side. Okay, okay. Well, the MP9s took the first two fights. Hooks is going to smoke off Banana and there's a flash, or is it going to go deeper? It, it might be a pop. Yeah, they fire off the orb shot. Broke needs to get back, needs to get back. Nico accelerating, trying to isolate. Look at him, knife out, straight into the side. What's going on, Nico? Can't believe it. Frozen's there, as is Brokey. Hard shot to hit. Cut down retake. by Hunter, very uncomfortable. No kit. A good damage. Hunter brought low. 32 points of health between Hunter and Monacy. Does Carrigan give it a look in? Rops with just an MP9. With the stats added to the tally, but you get the round. Yeah, and maybe maybe that play, you know, is, in a nutshell, summarizes Nico's new approach to the game. He's always big enough, Monacy. Oh. And he, he's playing for the team. Just want to make a quick note. Oh, they slip into Boiler just as the util arrives, as do the players. Hoopsie's back was turned. A good timing from Rops. One of those two save rifles has drawn first blood. Spots the barrel, controls the spray, takes down the Orpa as well. Nexa into the site. Activates out of apartments into the pit. Rain only three kills for Rain so far. This could be a big, impactful round. Then the Norwegian needs it. Yeah, and no armor on him. Oh, Carrigan just stampeding and oh. still beats up Nico. Has he done that? I don't think Nico knows, but either way, Hunter use a, using the AWP off of Monacy's corpse in the low HP. A two on two, no armor for phase. Oh, Brokey doesn't know how close that was with Hunter's HP where it is. And now it's all on to Nexa. He has some cam, and he's got a clutch in front of him. What can you do? Five seconds as he has to hold it, has to hold it. Brokey closing the gap. It's Nexa's chance, and it's glorious. Triple kill from Nexa. Whoa, that one was labored, and Nexa bows them out again. That's three rounds we can put to his name. And this is a quarterfinal with it, and he is standing up to be counted because the community, not a massive fan of this addition, the roster change, come with some scrutiny, but Nexa, oh. impact, and that is going to feel real good. It looks like Hooksy's talking a lot, so with an early pick, he has a clear game plan for the finish. Rain's having a rough game, Alex. Yeah. Will it continue to go that way? No! Spray nearly three. The Dinkon to 
him on as he puts him on two. Still pressure on Robs. Yeah, we're trying to reposition, finds a safe haven between the flames. It's actually broke his orb onto Nico. Looks like FaZe have done enough, unless we get another heroic next around. Brokey says no. His 15th frag, a double in this round. That was a one on three on two HP sound. Sounds impossible to me, Chad, but maybe not to Monacy. He seems to have a very good idea. Sneaking suspicion. How to get the bomb at least. Up. Whoa, goes for a lightning fast quick scope. Does miss out on that. And Brokey closes with his third. Phase the first to find double digits. Uh, there's Rain. Uh, very important double kill and damage done on that short side. Uh, to be honest, I thought he should have contributed more in the previous. Mm. Yeah, well, there's some redemption for him. And it breaks the streak. That was four straight for G2. But the first to reach the double digits is Phase. And the third tactical timeout now called by G2. That was even with the opening pick found in Banana. They need to try and make a dent in this round. Keep FaZe honest. See if you can get the bomb down. Give yourself something to work to the next. Or even better, pull off a 4v5 number disadvantage. Yeah, well, one of your rifles now. Hooksy's Tech 9 littering Banana as the flash from Monacy trying to regain that space, regain control. And it seems that FaZe will allow it to happen. Good decision. He's ready now. With that orb, misses it. Hard swing wide. Come Hunter into the sight. They still have to find him. Not the weapon for the job. Hunter knows there's someone else. Brokey firing off shot through the smoke. And that rain's flank floored by Monacy. 2v2 in the smoke. This is chaos. It's all done on the round. How did FaZe hold on to that? How is Brokey still alive? That is insane. The response time from his teammates to take the pressure off. They were just flooding in through CT and Banana. Then the Brokey just leaping around. He dropped his smoke. We had the frozen smoke back aside. We were just gray screened. That was chaos in Banana, but this is the opener. This time Carrigan getting the better of Nico. Rotates in the ah. damage done by Frozen onto Nexa. That's beautiful. But it was just a quick response time to deal with that. And it's so awkward as Nico frustration starting to show. G2 out of money and they have to go for the force fight. Phaser in control. This is essentially going to be a 2v5, Alex. Yeah, by no means easy for Ross. He's going to need Rain's help, Rain's support, the util to be tested. Here comes G2. Turns the flash. Ross nails it! And combined with Rain, it's three on the spray. Hunter holds on. Just enough health. Five HP in it. And he gets the bomb down. Nico's going to be overlooked. Or not. Carrigan clears. And a Hunter, 5 HP clutch, seems like they're asking too much. 18 kills, he's having one of those big games. This would be huge. This would be ridiculous. A single bullet from Brokey. And then right next to each other, there it is. It wasn't the first bullet out of Brokey, but it gets it done. And 12 in the bank on G2's pick. Phase, one round away from taking the first map of this quarterfinal. Again, the finance is going to be the biggest problem for G2 going into... Round number 22, very likely to be the last round of play. And the fact that Carrigan has the awareness, right? They only knew where Hunter was, but once the bomb goes down, you usually be lining it. So great cognizance there from the in-game leader. And Hunter, he is having impact in this game. But FaZe, this is their map to win now. Ancient up next, their choice. Luke C, he's fed up. He just runs straight into Frozen's M4. Already Nico chipped away, hamstrung at 20 HP. Rain's found an angle around this smoke. Hunter's going to walk straight through it. Loses his head. It seems Inferno falling through their fingers. G2's pick. And it's flying the phase flag. Here in the spot at the other season bets at this stage. Well, Frozen's been looking comfortable. Looking right at home in this phase jersey. Honestly, he gets away with that first, but it won't happen again. Nico, the last to fall. And there you have it. Face Clan taking G2's Inferno. Carrigan very happy with that one. And a strong debut in the Spodek for Frozen. 17, top of the board with Brokey.
Perfect place to deliver it. I think we can expect a few more punches to be thrown on a map like this. It allows for pace and, well, Monacy needs to start with a bang. Oh, that's tough. Nexus turn. Oh, he gets one. Frozen deletes him back. Not an immediate rotation. They think it's all fakery. No bomb was spotted. It puts it all onto Hooksy. And Molly landing at his foot. Front door gets away. Puts one into the head of Frozen. Seizing control of Donut. Planting in that smoke. Thank you very much, G2. Strafing through. Nico down to Carrigan. And only Hooksy and Hunter remain. Hunter slipped. Hang on. There's an opportunity. These dual Berettas can unload damage. Oh. Destruction takes another. Frozen and Brokia so low. Maybe he's got it in him. Time. And no head caught by Brokey. <laughs> Sharp shooting in that one. The A main duel. Monacy going in aggressive, trying to get that early info. You can understand why you'd want to go for an A main push. Sure. You have so much early info on B. And Nico, camera zoomed straight on him, looking straight down the line. But this is the opener. Oh. And, whoa. <laughs> Brokey with an impactful round frozen. Quick as you like as well. And for Nico, you never love to have to opt for that. But when the bomb's getting punched in, you try and take the risk with the flash jumping through that smoke. And, and we yeah. saw <laughs> again. This could be some confidence boost. Oh, confidence boosting frags. I don't get to finish my sentence as a bullet lands in his face. And Hooksy's found a double. He'll be happy with that. Phase perhaps not, but all the same, it seems the round really hinges. Hold up. Next is looking for revenge, Alex. And he's even got the skin. Uh, no. There's no way. Not this again. He should be set for one. Thank you. Oh! He's got it done! Oh, no! He bought his from the $2 store! <laughs> I'm going oh, next up. that one. He's like, what? Oh, Rob's obviously doing it better. The developer knows how to use it. <laughs> Where's that gone? I don't know what happened. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh? Huh? Yeah, everybody astonished by that one. So Molly's towards heaven and it's got a whole lot brighter out here. His ramp has been blocked. I think they're going to... Oh, they were... Oh, beautiful. Not bad by Hooksy. He is starting ancient strong, Chad. Both Carrigan and Hooksy, leaders that, you know, fragging isn't at the top priority, but they will have a map. They'll have a map or two. Short as well, flash and go. Great. Trying to be the spearhead of the operation. Shut down. Spam does not connect. They are up. Nico on to Brokey. So they have continued to twist the knife of that opening kill. It's Frozen trying to turn the tide of battle, but Hoopsie holds on. Bomb down, sure. But Robson Rain, they are dead men walking. As Hunter makes it so. Puts one into the head of Robs. Only Rain stands trying to do something. Only the one. G2, that's a very convincing start to your CT campaign. Yeah, good impact from Hoopsie. Two kills to open to give them the number advantage. Then on the way into the side, also finding another. So good job. Well handled, and that was with a buy which definitely had some emissions as far as the util department went. So this opening kill through the boards from Hooksy, very important. Nico grabbing one through the smoke as well, just well aware of these sight lines. Brokey doesn't even get a chance, and Hunter does the same, straight to the front of the pillar, laser sharp. Honestly, just in time, gets that nade down. Position well, that's a lot of damage. Finishes off Frozen, Hunter combines. This is perfect. Handling a business. Brokey, that rifle does nothing. And Monacy with five bullets. He'll put one in the head of Rops as well. Nice little confidence builder there for Monacy. Four kills in that round. Responded to that just in time. Nade doing all the damage. So Carrigan's been given a heaven smoke by his teammates. Oh, that nade, oh. it was heard. And what? He spotted him just through the... Smoke as it was needed away. Nico needs space. Yeah, he's taking it with force. Pushes pre-pop, catches rain, walking out, and now they've lost complete control of the B side of the map. In the meantime, they're only just progressing now. Boosting frozen up. Where do they use the smoke? Looks like CT. Not donut, that means Hunter will be active. Temple Molly. Frozen, that was his chance. Squandered. As Hunter posts his fifth. Bomb down, covered by Rops. A quick headshot. Two versus four, now three. Look at the damage, though. Rops into double, double donut. Not planted for you there. It's looking for action, looking for headshots. And oh, Nico's lost his. They have a smoke on Nexa. That would make things difficult with the diffuse kit's present. Smoke on Nexa. 
Not planted ideally for Donut. They double up. They don't know. Snappy as all hell. That was a 2v4 situation. Just turned on its head. No information, no map control. Completely stumped. Carrigan got that opener right through the smoke to start the round. Hooksy spots and concedes cave. The snade, it lands. Carrigan crawls forward. They're starting to pincer in. Trying to erect a boost, but completely isolated is Nico just to drive by from Carrigan's tech nine. The site is lost, and don't forget what Chad was saying. If they really want to put all their resources into this, they'll have nothing in the next. Hooksy's already taken a heavy blow. Finished now by Carrigan, they're still there. Nice one back, Nexa survives. This can't be in their best interest, and they think the same. But look at Frozen. Look at Frozen, he's already a step ahead of this. He wasn't needed over towards the site. They might try and rip everything away. This As they be. evacuate, they need to be aware. When that bomb explodes, there could be some chaos concocted. Honestly, he won't be ready for the close peak. Here he comes. Frozen. Crawls into the line. Down goes the Orpa. Next to spot down the temple, but that's the most expensive gun gone. That is a big hunt, and he will know that the AWP was dropped. There was no way for it to be picked up. The fact that he has decided to go through that donut position. Confirmation of presence. Hunter prepares. Brokey. Holding on towards the clear, that's perfect from Brokey. Close combat warping onto Hooksy. Frozen has, ooh. oh, they've lost the side. Monacy goes down, nice one back from Nico. Frozen has the bomb on his own, he can't really go. Yeah, Brokey needs to support him. As Reigns saying, the B side's feeling pretty quiet, but little does he know, rounding the corner is Nico. Another one, a double kill to level the odds, but Brokey's still a problem. No next is the A defender. Such a nuisance. Next is going to be finding a little bit of a timing. Takes down the Orpa. Frozen's got the bomb, but he holds on. Nullifies the threat. And a one versus two presented to Nico. I feel like he has to go for this. Doesn't have a kit. It's going to be problematic, and he's gone the long way round. Frozen might even get the jump on him. This is an uncomfortable one for Nico, but it does feel compulsory for G2. Frozen does get the jump on Nico. Six already in the bag. Such a dicey scenario, right, with that bomb postured forward in red. Carrigan goes down. Frozen knows he can't go on his own, otherwise he's going to be taking the bomb right to their door. And this one might be quick as you like. Phase six on the T side. This is beautiful work. Oh, Hooksy knowing he has to search, right? They don't have any info. There's pressure towards red. The map feels very, very small for G2 because look at how they were toyed with. So, boys, we've got the live by. Let's stack the site. Ways to collect his next set goes a bit overstepping the mark. Someone had to put him up there. It was Hunter and Carrigan finds his head. Only the one for Monacy. And Nico firing off shots willy nearly needs all of them. Great shot. Gets himself a double. Just playing on the edge of the smoke. He fires off another towards Frozen. Nate narrow do miss. Nate doesn't find him. Nico's getting chances. Just needs one more to connect. And Frozen just stands there. Oh, Nico knows he had more in him. That right there, that shot frustration. Shot after shot after shot. Yeah, I'm sure we see that again, but that is real frustration. And that's what's been bottled up from map number one. We spoke about Carrigan getting the better of him in the head-to-heads. And this could have been a confidence builder. This could have been the way Nico builds his way back in. The first two beautiful, but then labored and frozen, just standing and trying to tap away as well. Yeah, that's an ugly fight. Both of them know it, but Nico, that is a real desk slam. Oh man, no timeout either. We're straight back into it. He's, He's in a one-on-four on a low buy as yeah. well, right? I, look, I get it, but that, that's more telling of how the game's going, not that round specifically. It's Hooksy. Throws it. Oh. Oh, hey, fully flashed by Brokey. Rain collects a freebie. And now Nico just about survives the fight onto Carrigan. You know, a breakdown, he really felt like he'd achieved an all-time career goal. To be back here now to defend your title. Honestly, circumvented. Not with the snade on the smoke. Rob's cut down early. That gives G2 a leg up in this round. He goes very low for this fight. Oh, far from a guarantee here, Chad. Smoked off. Okay. Pressure applied. B side. Has yeah. to take a risk, sure. by rain. Brokey makes the steps, continues to push to Nico, and oh, Brokey, hyper-aware. 
They still can't find them. Where did these B defenders go? Oh, tip of the head. And now dead. Nex has cut down. It's only Hunter around. And find one covered. Pinpoint perfect from Rain. It's three kills in this round. And now monastery has been spotted out already. FaZe, they're so diligent. Every move seems to be the right one and rewarded eight to two. Speed running ancient right now. Yeah, Rain had a tougher map on Inferno, obviously swapping positions with Frozen. He's taken over towards that short side. Brokey having one hell of a performance so far. His whole squad with him in support. He has missed that one. Brokey doesn't make the same mistake twice though, as they rack him up. Piece by piece, Nexa, however, has voiced concerns. It makes it a 1v1, but no kit. No time for this, and Frozen, he saves their hides. Significant damage, but the round is theirs. Nine already. I think that's a key that G2 need to remember with that round. They didn't have a kit. They were out-positioned or out-maneuvered. Risky call from G2 in the veto. It seems to be working out for FaZe. Oh, Monacy. They tried to set him up for aggression and Carrigan just swats them away. Hunter will maintain. In his domain, smoke out from Hooksy, forced by the damage. There's a smoke on doors, so B lane is flying the G2 flag as Hooksy spots out one elbow. He wants to go. It looks like he wants to fight with the flash. Back turn from Frozen does evade. He really wanted to keep this AWP fighting for it. We smoke now. So mid held on to. B lane was called clear. And Roki. <laughs> he does not relent taking down Nico. And it sounded like a dink, right? But Broki still with 61 points of health. To the corner of the wall. This next set will be summoned to help out Hooksy. Another round, another opening kill for FaZe. Broken swing, too comfortable for Rain, as FaZe's 10th seems like a guarantee, unless Nexa comes alive with a double kill of his own design, a one versus two for Hunter. With the orb? With the orb. Yeah, this ain't going his way. FaZe. Molotov doesn't quite pop, fires off the orb so they know, now there's looking it's for something weapon, more serviceable. anything. Yeah, the orb doesn't seem to be the weapon for the task at hand. He has got the kit. He has an idea, a sneaking suspicion that Ram's not shooting. Couple of straight bullets, and the first is found, Hunter. And Robs. And I can't believe he's held on the Oh, Hunter! Pros do not fake. On the quarterfinal stage, he's given them a lifeline. Three to work with for survival in this quarterfinal. G2 lined up, Rops, he has support, frozen, 30 bullets to unload. Oh, doesn't find his first there, Nico. P250 in hand, and trying to adjust, as does take the head off of Frozen. Rops under a lot of pressure here, and he goes wide, plucks Monacy from the pack. Somehow still alive, now covered by Carrigan, as G2 capitulating, slowed down. How is Rops still alive? Hunter's down, it's up to Nico now. Two kills in. Carrigan is next challenge with only one he needs to reload. Both towards main, the rotations are through. Isolating Jules not going to be easy, not going to come easy here. As it's all down and it's all over. Ten on the board for FaZe. That compulsory pistol slips away. I just think we have to turn to G2 not showing up today. Milksy doing his best. The T side's just started. This is where he's meant to do his best work. This flash has got Carrigan's name all over. Everyone from FaZe will be here in a heartbeat. And he's down. Free flash. Smoke obscures Rain's view, but maybe the element of surprise present for the Norwegian. Broke, he spots a lot of bodies. Closing the gap, running him down. Goes wide, Hootsie. Only the one from the rifle. This is promising now for G2. Nico nailing Rain as well through the smoke. We'll be able to pounce, but as that bomb halfway gone, so is the round. So G2 haven't given up just yet. And a great decision. If a team's going to go for the full press, damage is going to be done. Rops can't get anything, and Monacy goes down as well. 
That's one of the issues if you go for the full press mid and B lane, is eventually you're going to run out of that U2. And if you linger around, teams are getting better at better at being able to exploit that. That passive smoke. Feels like you'll go down on this swing. Yeah, Frozen's off angle is well rewarded and Brokey converting. Carrigan. Needs to live, oh, Carrigan. Oh god, Nico, he took a beating. One more bullet from that P250, and he's a dead man. He still should be able to get to be up the ramp. That's the plan. The Molly back sight, so Cave is trapped. Carrigan can only go forward. Which is exactly what he's doing! And finishes off the job onto Nico! Frustration start to bubble to the surface if they don't close this one here. Monacy, good, steps up to the plate. Brokey clears, misses his shot. Hunter comes alive on that red room lurk. Rob's spotted out as well. Painstaking. Diligent Hunter getting run out. Rob's brought low and caught by the spray. They know where Rain is as well. And Hunter's not waiting around. He brings the fight to him. They get through it. So this is where you wonder what the communication was like from FaZe there, because we could obviously see how much pressure Carrigan was under, but I don't think he was buying it. Hunter again, just being wow. a nuisance. This is the thing, a player like Hunter, if you can get this red room, it's going to be such oh, a problem to deal with. He's terrifying. Oh, that's, oh, that's disgusting. Brain, two taps. Surely not, Nico. Two headshots, and then you Surely can Surely not, Nico. I mean, you do clear right side pretty close. This could be... Horrible for G2. Nico. And to the Zeus. Brokey down as well. They should be able to clean this up despite the stack into the site. It's Hooksy holding on. Just a scrap of health. Bomb opens. No, it was Kane. They've lost track of him. And now maybe Rots can do some more damage recovering the round. It's a four round game, Chad. <sighs> Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, if that had spiraled any further, I feel sorry for the desk. But fortunately, G2 struck strong. And this was the double dink out of rain. Yes, yeah, a gorgeous shooting. Rops, he demonstrates that perhaps it was the user as opposed to the Zeus. So two from two. There is Rops on the new investment of the Zeus. That would be loving that. And he smiles. Okay, what okay. else can you do? Hooksy did clean up the mess there with a delicious little... When's the B hit coming? 39. Util forward, nothing peeking, onto the Monacy scope, 30 seconds and two doubling up on this close angle. The hard clear, what? Carrigan just pulls the trigger, takes down Nico, Brokey comfortable onto Hunter. Three versus three, 20 seconds, they are into the site. Can't seem to contest the plan, a couple of stray bullets from Frozen, they do not connect, good spam, a lot of damage. Combined with Frozen, it's shaping up nicely for FaZe, unless Monacy can get more! Secured in a team effort from FaZe Clan. That Carrigan frag starting it, and it's the rest finishing. Frozen's double. Yeah, and for Nico. Of course. He was completely blind, wasn't he, Carrigan? But still gets away with murder. We'll see it again. Blind holds down Mouse One, weathers the storm, but that impact and that rotation was quick. Whatever the premonition for FaZe to give up A and mid in the air. Well, we've already seen it bubble over. Now it's just simmering. Sticking around despite the low HP, Carrigan just looking for info and answers towards the ramp position. He's spotted them out. And they're in. Yeah, straight up this side of the guts. Monacy onto Carrigan, clears out long. Some heavy damage dealt. Oh, and Hunter, he fumbles onto Brokey, a quick one on the orb. So low. Really uncomfortable, it gets worse. Punching in the code is Nexa. Pressure applied from every angle, frozen. Brings down Nexa through the wall. And this low HP from Monacy now haunting him. How are you supposed to win this one? Hoopsy trying to isolate the jewel. Down goes Monacy. It's only one man and a MAC-10. An impossible round for Hoopsy here. Upgrades the rifle. It's not planted for him. He can't even knock him off. Rob secures it in phase. Edge ever closer to closing. And knocking out the reigning champs of IEM Katowice in the quarterfinals in two maps. Inferno and Ancient is where we do battle. Maps they haven't played. It's been until this point in the tournament, Chad, it seems like a risk. Hey, look, uh, obviously matchup specific is something that plays in. We have seen a lack of Inferno, and they had Blast just before coming over to Poland. But in recent days, reps 
do not exist in the official realms as the third and final tactical timeout for G2 has been called, but is it too little too late? Well, it definitely feels that way. Six rounds the difference. The champ v champ quarterfinal matchup, and it looks like it's going in the favor of FaZe Clan. And now FaZe with Frozen. They're viewing on this stage. Looking like they're going to take one step closer. Certainly looks that way, Hooksy. Despite oh. so much at stake, and Nico's just charging. Froki was caught off guard, but down goes Nico. Hunter was right behind him. There's a gap, but they're not going to be ready for Rob. Rob's hiding behind the box. It's all done. It's only these two. Next to Ramonesi up against the world for survival. Somehow, miraculously, the first two of this two versus five have taken shape. Honestly, got the orb. That's something as well. But Rain, this is a fast call. Nexus spots him out. Oh. What a shot from Rain! And Monacy does not have the health as G2. Counting on this boy to do it all. And the second and final map of this quarterfinal phase clan. They just need to bring him down. The first onto Frozen is found. Bomb loose on the site. Monacy piecing together the potential puzzle. Knows Rain was main. Was. Was being the operative word. Carrigan lingers CT as Rain looks to join. Facilitate a trade. Investigates Dono. Actually, maybe he's got a premonition about this as well. 40 seconds. And now the activate. What a shot! Carrigan had the jump on him. He did the damage. Only three HP. Still worried about main. And now I'm honestly not going to be ready for this. Absolutely obliterated here on map number two, Inferno. That got real close in the opening stages, but Frozen came alive. Round number five, two kills, top banana. And at that point, FaZe started playing the type of Counter-Strike that they know they can. It was a great start from G2 on their map choice. Frozen also had a big clutch in that first map of play and looking right at home here in the FaZe jersey in the Spodek. People questioned how long does FaZe's hot start continue? New game, same phase. Incredible individuals, Frozen joining their ranks and loving every minute of it. Stepping into the Spodek, victorious.